looking at window management features as well. So when I drag this window over to the side, you see it snap to the left, and I can drag another one and snap to the right. And now it's easy to compare between and drag drop between two documents. I can also make a full screen just by docking it at the top or, and then drag it back down. It's really handy on multiple monitors to go and take and full screen that document on your separate monitor. Now, as I said before, it's very easy for you to put these things on your taskbar. So just drag it from the start menu, drop it there, and it pins it to the taskbar. And I have full control over the order and the things that are in the taskbar. So I can move them. How long do you want it to be able to do that? So you can get them. We saw people in our usability lab just shutting down all the programs and opening them up in a particular order to get into place. So we thought yep. it would be super easy to have it work the way you want it to and put your favorite applications that muscle memory can really take over. And then here on the start menu, we also support JumpList, so you can see the things that I can get to very quickly and easily, making it super quick to get to the work in the windows that you want to do. Now I'm going to bring up the Windows Explorer and show you how you can get to <coughs> how you can get to all the things that are on your computer. So in Windows Explorer, Windows 7, it brings together all the places that you can access your data and information from. With the new innovation called Libraries, it brings together the flexibility of folders, the power of Windows Desktop Search, and spans across multiple storage locations. So I'll show you what I mean. So here I am in Documents. I have multiple library locations. So these library locations can be anywhere, uh, any external hard drive, a thumb drive, other computers inside your home, and you can pull them together into one view. So you can search and filter and view those files all in one place. So here I am in the Documents view across two libraries. In search, we've added the capabilities of being able to see what keywords that you have access to, so you don't have to try and learn to figure those out and learn those. I'm going to click on Type. And it's going to give me